So opening of the movie, right? We got the clouds, we got the Toy Story, and then the, the brands burns away. It was like big time Western with trains and trolls and explosions, <laughs> race cars, and then this whole other element of science fiction. <laughs> It was just insane. We gave him Mrs. Potato Head, the ninja, but he had her, you know, the throwing stars and the flipping was all him. The pig ship that we gave him became the pig ship that we know now, this massive floating ham in the sky. Like, that was Mark. And that's what he was doing. That version, I mean, it went as big as you could, and all the set pieces were all there, but a big thing about these sequences and when we make these sequences is you want, they have to work in the movie as a whole. There was a time early on where we would get notes saying, wow, that was a really fun opening, but you could hack it off and you'd never miss it. And that always troubled me because I didn't want to do anything arbitrarily. So we, we really had to think, okay, what is the Western opening then? This idea of having kind of a flashback came up. We would come out of the Western opening and be with Andy, young Andy, playing with the toys. Thus show that what we had just seen, this crazy Western opening, was just a visualization of Andy's playtime. The, the problem was then very easily solved and let us not only have fun with the opening of the film, but it's there for a very specific reason.